Hi there! So in this video I'm going to show you how to create procedural animations with Bifrost. We're going to recreate this ripple effect. I have just a starting scene with an animated camera and ball. I'm not an animator so forgive me for the poor quality of the animation. And also huge credit to Seppo from the Bifrost Discord that showed me how to create the ripple effect. Let's start with a simple plane and get the distance between the plane and the center. Now with the time node we can add a control for the speed with a multiply. Then we can just add those values together. Next we need to control the frequency of the waves, again just multiplying by a value. Let's feed the output to the cosine node. This is the node that will create the waving effect. Now, the cosine will be our y-axis displacement. For the x and z, we'll just get them from the point position of the plane. Finally, we can displace the points. Let's just increase the speed and the subdivisions of the plane. And we should get the effect pretty much done. Ok, now in order to have evenly distributed instances, we will use the quick read from Val Allen compounds. We will also have the possibility to create patterns with this compound. Increasing the size of the grid and we'll also copy the spacing values from my original graph. We also need to set the size of the points, in this case I am using a setGeo property node. And now we can create the instances using in this case an hexagon shape. So in order to create a growing effect we will use the fantastic manipulator fill tools from Roland Rayer. We create a field and in the graph we use the sample field, feeding the point position and finally multiply it with the cosine. And as you can see we can now control the effect with a field on our viewport. Now we just need to set some keyframes for the scale. Let's just quickly adjust the spacing of the grid. This is pretty much done, but I am just going to show you how to control a bit more the effect by adding a few notes to adjust the offset of the waves. So instead of using the second sport from the time node, we will use the frame so we can offset it with a simple value node. Also adjusting the frequency and adding a control for the height. To finish off we can fine tune the displacement effect with the manipulator field by adjusting the magnitude and attenuation which is just a fall off. And from here you can just add more details to the hexagon and do the usual render setup with lighting and depth of field for instance. But this is already a long video so I'm sure you can take it from here and do your own version. Hopefully you found this useful and if you guys enjoyed this I can do more procedural animations for the next videos. Thank you and see you next time.